Hi, when we talk about holidays, an annual leave is an entitlement. So when we look at the annual leave that we are given, that is what is entitled to us, that is what we are owed, that is what um, we need to get. So uh, we don't have to work for it, it is presented for us, so we are entitled to it. So let's say your boss says, uh, tells you, uh, look, um, it's your birthday, I'm going to give you your birthday off, uh, it's not going to come off an annual salary, um, it's just going to take the day off because you're good. Say for example, that is a bonus, it's a luxury, it's not entitled to us, uh, it is given out of our uh, your, your boss's own free will, um, and it is a, sort of a, a good will gesture, it is more of a luxury, it's, a, you know, it's not in a contract, it's not an entitlement, so it's more of a bonus, a luxury. So my question today is, is pet ownership a luxury or an entitlement? Today, I may offend you with some of my thoughts. I do not mean any harm and it is not my intention to cause conflict. These are, just, these are just my thoughts and I'd like to invite you to voice your views regarding this. Is pet ownership a luxury or, or an entitlement? Is having pets a luxury or an entitlement? This question has been on my mind for a very long time. Being a pet owner, I know there are compelling advantages to having a pet. It can be relaxing and therapeutic. Some reports have shown that having a pet has been linked to living longer. So I do understand the obvious advantages of being a pet owner. So perhaps considering that it actually potentially improves the life of the pet owner, it can be seen as an entitlement as it is integral to the pet owner's quality of life. However, being a vet, I have seen many times where a pet owner may not be the most suitable person for uh, its own pet due to various reasons. Sometimes it is finance related, sometimes it is due to the situation. For example, there are times when I encounter pet owners who are not able to afford the veterinary bills. The question I ponder is, if someone is not able to take care or afford their pet's health, should they be allowed the pet? Are they entitled to have the pet? And if medical treatment is needed, are they, by extension, entitled to have the medical treatment even if they can't afford it? Or are pets considered to be a luxury where you're not able to afford to take care of all of its needs from food, shelter, to medical bills? You should not have a pet. Am I rude or presumptuous to say that? For pet owners that feel that pet ownership is not an entitlement, it's a luxury, they make sure that they are able to afford the time, effort, finance for their pet before even contemplating getting one. They don't feel entitled to anything and take responsibility for their own luxury. For pet owners that feel that pet ownership is an entitlement, I find that they feel if their pets fall ill, medical help should be given regardless of affordability because they are entitled to the pet and its good health. The funny thing is, some of those pets are pedigree that will make it very expensive to buy in the first place. It's almost like buying a Rolls Royce and complaining about a service being more expensive than it being a Ford's. It just does not make sense. There are pet owners who are extremely grateful for the vet's help and if not able to afford it, they can get embarrassed and are usually quite humble to work out a way to pay their bills. On the other hand, there are pet owners who would try to use emotional blackmail, saying vets only care about the money, and say things like, how dare you say that I need to pay for that much money before you will treat my pet. If their desired treatment is refused, sometimes there will be repercussions with online reviews, uh, or telling others about vets only caring about the money and not the animal. How weird would that sound if someone were to complain to another about the price of servicing or repairing a Rolls Royce being expensive? Yet, that behaviour is fairly commonplace at the vets. A question may be, why do people think like that in the first place? 
how did this behavior come about? I believe that society may have to take a little bit of responsibility for this. What do I mean? Living in UK, I have learned that it possesses quite a welfare mindset. What do I mean by this? The infrastructure to provide is immense. For example, if you have no money, not able to work or disabled, there are provisions present so you will get by. If you're a single parent, free accommodation could be sought and bills paid. If you have more children, a larger living space will be provided. PDSA exists to provide vet care for those who are not able to afford them. It certainly is not uncommon to see homeless uh, people having pets and it always fascinates me that if they're not able to afford their personal meals, how can they afford to find food for their pets? And to be more controversial, having a pet may be good for them, but is it good for their pet? I know there are some exceptions, but overall, are the pets getting the best out of life? If they fall ill, are they able to get the best medical care or simply the cheapest care for sustainability? Another huge influence would be the NHS, as mentioned in the first episode. If medical care is perceived to be free, although we know that it is a take the taxpayer's money, it is not surprising that veterinary care may be perceived to be free as well. Perhaps I'm being a little bit harsh in saying that I believe that having pets are a luxury, not an entitlement. Pet ownership comes with its responsibility. May I add, huge responsibility. Personally, for many years, as I could not afford it, both in time and cost and money, I did not have a pet, despite being a vet. To have a pet means that we have the obligation to ensure the best health for that pet, and we need to take extreme responsibility to make sure that that happens and do not rely or depend on anyone else to take on that responsibility. Comment below if you think pets are a luxury or an entitlement. I look forward to seeing you at the next live event. This is Amity.